the Gombe region of Tanzania that Jane Goodall first experienced in 1960. A lush lakeshore forest rich in chimpanzees and other wildlife is not the same place today. The changes since then are painfully visible. The denuded hillsides surrounding Gombe National Park tell a story of human population growth and the daily struggle for survival. Without widespread change in agricultural methods, children here face a future without the natural resources they need to survive. And already, women must walk up to half a day to locate firewood and water. But thanks to the Takare program, there are solutions. Tree nurseries, agricultural training, sustainable economic development, healthcare programs addressing women's needs, education programs for youth with special attention to girls. What began in 1994 as a small pilot project has become a regional program staffed almost entirely by Tanzanians and supported by the United Nations Development Program, USAID, and other major funders. One of Takare's primary goals is to reforest the hills around Gombe. Because the local farmers slash and burn the foliage, the soil is arable for only one or two seasons. Then the farmers clear new plots and the pattern repeats. With Takare's help, villagers operate more than 100 tree nurseries to support reforestation. The nurseries distribute the seedlings to community members who re-green the hills and villages. Takare also promotes the sustainable use of forest resources to generate much needed income. By tapping into local expertise, Takare helps create businesses that the community can grow and maintain over the long term. One of these efforts has helped to support a local beekeeper. Without vegetation to anchor the earth in place, topsoil washes down into Lake Tanganyika, sometimes in dangerous mudslides. In 2000, one of these slides destroyed an entire village, killing several children and adults. Takare trains villagers in contour farming and other sustainable agriculture techniques to reinvigorate the soil. These efforts help farmers earn income through the cultivation of oil palm, coffee, domestic mushroom, and coconut crops. Takare also improves the income and social status of women. Local mothers may have 10 or more children, and young girls often become their mother's helpers. It's not uncommon to see an eight-year-old girl caring for younger siblings or performing hard labor. Takari created a scholarship fund that has supported 50 such girls through high school and college. Takare also provides important instruction in family planning and reproductive health, training local men and women as peer educators. This has proven to be a highly effective way to reach people. The use of wood for energy, primarily for cooking, is a significant cause of deforestation in Tanzania. As the forests are stripped bare, this seemingly mundane task becomes all-consuming. Women must trek miles to find fuel wood, losing precious daylight hours. Takare recognizes that reducing wood consumption is an important step towards sustainability. Throughout the Takare region, staff members promote the use of fuel-efficient stoves that reduce wood consumption by 60%. The savings is a boon to the forest and to families. Takare creates support networks for women. These savings and credit programs unite them in small groups to leverage their combined currency into individual businesses. Women learn management, basic business operations, record keeping, and general administration. For the first time in their lives, 
these women are taking control of their futures. The Roots and Shoots program is an active part of Takare's efforts. The Takare students identify local problems and come up with creative solutions. They learn to value their natural heritage as well as the most important life lesson, that they can make a difference. Building on this success, the Jane Goodall Institute is now bringing Takare to other parts of Africa. With each tree planted, each girl who finishes high school, each new business given the chance to flourish, Takare communities grow stronger and they succeed in what is probably the most important task of all, sowing the seeds of hope for a brighter future. <laughs>